Is it time to buy or sell Oracle stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Oracle. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, September 14, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since September 12, 2023, our system has ranked Oracle as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 3.20. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Surprisingly, the stock has performed better than our system predicted, with a gain of 3.69%. This translates to an average return of 1.23% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock is moving within a wide and horizontal trend and further movements within this trend can be expected. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 0.692% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 4.26% and 10.67%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 82.37% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 76.61% and 104.42%. This translates to a price range of $200.74 to $232.34 after a year. Our latest daily update for Oracle includes the headline, Oracle stock price ended on $113.66 on Thursday after gaining 1.63%. The Oracle stock price gained 1.63% on the last trading day, Thursday, September 14, 2023, rising from $111.84 to $113.66. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.85% from a day low at $111.95 to a day high of $115.14. The price has risen in 8 of the last 10 days but is still down by minus 6.16% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by minus 5 million shares and in total, 20 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $2.24 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $127.54, and the lowest price was $60.78. Currently, the price is 10.88%, or $13.88, below the 52-week high of $127.54, which is also the all-time high for stock. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, September 14, 2023, it was reported that Scotiabank gave Oracle a outperform grade with a upgrade action. On Thursday, September 14, 2023, it was reported that Cowan & Company gave Oracle a market perform grade with a downgrade action. On Thursday, September 14, 2023, it was reported that Jefferies gave Oracle a hold grade with a downgrade action. On Thursday, September 14, 2023, it was reported that Benchmark gave Oracle a hold grade with a downgrade action. On Thursday, September 14, 2023, it was reported that BMO Capital gave Oracle a outperform grade with a upgrade action. Analysts have given Oracle stock a general neutral rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong sell and price to book as strong sell. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Oracle. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, September 12, 2023, and so far it has risen 3.69%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. 
This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Oracle stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $119.65 and $117.25. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 3 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 3 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 13 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 213 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Oracle Oracle finds support from accumulated volume at $112.91 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $3.19 between high and low, or 2.85%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.37%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Oracle, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This is a relatively normal P-E ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on Deck 11, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.32. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Oracle. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Oracle is at $117.84. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Oracle encounters its first support level at $112.91. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Oracle from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On September 5, 2023, Smith Maria conducted an insider buy of 12,500 shares of common stock. On September 5, 2023, Smith Maria conducted an insider sell of 6,500 shares of common stock. On September 5, 2023, Smith Maria conducted an insider sell of 12,500 shares of restricted stock unit. On August 4, 2023, Screven Edward conducted an insider buy of 50,000 shares of common stock. On August 4, 2023, Screven Edward conducted an insider sell of 24,790 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 24.240. Overall, insiders purchased 9,581,647 shares and sold 15,941,240 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Oracle stock a good buy? Oracle holds several negative signals and is within a wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. 
We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Friday, September 15th, we expect Oracle to open down dash $0.0767 and start trading at $113.58. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.